Hi guys. I know you're expecting a video about uh, what the Range Rover sold for, and trust me, that video is coming. Uh, but it's just not in this one. This particular video is uh, about the sale of this um, Mercedes E-Class that I have here. Uh, we bought this temporarily uh, just to um, to get us by until we got a new car. And that new car, well, another replacement, will be coming at the weekend. So this lovely old beast needs to go. Um, it's a 2005 um, Mercedes E220 CDI. Um, I mean this thing will do over 50 miles to the gallon. It's been utterly fantastic. None of the leather is ripped or torn. There's no marks on it. Uh, it drives like a dream. Goes through the gears lovely and smoothly. Everything works as it should. Uh, the interior is lovely and clean. Um, the paintwork is nice. I'll include some pictures in the video as well from the outside. And of course, when we get out, uh, we'll, we'll go round the, the vehicle with the camera uh, so that you can see it. Uh, we came up here because it's a lovely view over there, over the downs, and it, it's really pretty. But with the sun's uh, setting right over there, so it's, it's a bit difficult to, to see anything, I would imagine, on the camera. Anyway, while I'm on the subject of that, lots of people viewed the videos that I've put up about the, uh, the Range Rover and so on. I really appreciate you watching those. Uh, but if you could like and subscribe, that would be utterly fantastic. I mean, I'm aiming for 50,000 subscribers. And guys, let me tell you, I'm only 49,957 away from that target. So, you know, please, please keep liking, sharing and subscribing. It would be very much appreciated. Anyway, back to the E-Class. So, this thing is for sale. Um, I'm going to put it on the market for £3,500, which is an utter bargain. It is absolutely beautiful. 82,350 miles. Uh, they're genuine miles. I HPI checked the vehicle when I bought it. Uh, the MOTs all check out throughout its life. I mean, on average, it's done less than 5,000 miles a year its entire life. It's been serviced every year um, of its entire life. Um, it was serviced back in June of 2021 and when we bought the car just recently we had it serviced at our local garage just for peace of mind so it's been serviced twice this year and uh, we gave it a full service um, I, I, all I had to do there was two little jobs I had to do I had to change the window wipers because they were rubbish basically uh, which I've done put new window wipers on and I had to change the one of the headlight bulbs well I changed both of them anyway both both uh, two new headlight bulbs and now they're lovely and bright and and uh, and everything's hunky dory so what we'll do um we'll go for a little drive in this and then Diane can show you around the car as we drive along you can see it's slipping through the gears lovely and and we'll take it from there Okay. Okay, guys. So we're rolling along in the uh, in the E-Class, as you can see. Yeah, you know, one thing I love about these E-Classes is the suspension. I mean, these things just the the bumps just melt away in this car. It's, the, the suspension on it is lovely. It's old school, nothing technical, no air suspension to worry about. It really is uh, just it's just a really nice soft ride. Gears are really good. Goes through the gears, lovely. Um, I don't really know what else to say. All the windows work, um, all the lights are working. I can't find anything that's not working. Uh, there's no malfunctions on the on the uh, on the dash. Uh, I've got two keys, two working keys for the vehicle. I've got the service pack with the service history in there. Um, all the all the other books and the pack that comes with the car. Uh, believe it or not, the original first aid kit is still under the seat. In, I mean, that's unheard of in a vehicle this age. But uh, the, yeah, there's a the original Mercedes first aid kit is is uh, under the front seat there, front passenger seat. And uh, yeah, as you can see, dial have a pan around the car, and as you can see, it, it drives beautifully. This thing. Have a look around while I drive. You just have a look around, guys. I'll just do the driving. No, I don't smoke, by the way. It's uh, one of those vape things. Don't panic. Mind the 
of money. It was just the A2 one. Mm. It really does drive lovely. This thing, I absolutely been loved. I've loved driving it, it's been really good, really reliable, starts first time, every single time, no issues whatsoever. It's been, been a really good little run around car. Fortunately it's not good, big enough for our needs, we've, uh, we've got a holiday to Scotland planned and we always take a lot of luggage, camera equipment, drones, and uh, they're, they're just not enough room in. We need a kind of kind of big SUV type car. Our new car's clearly not going to be ready. What with this global chip shortage or something, they're, they're saying that uh, new cars could be taking up to eight or nine months to uh, to get a new car. So we, we've had to put that on the back burner because that's that's way past our holiday. So we've had to buy a um, a four by four to. Uh, To, um, to see us through our holiday. Sorry, there was just some clown stopped on a dual carriageway there. Uh, yeah, so we've had to buy a, a, four, a, a temporary car just to, to, so that we can go and do our holiday in. But in the meanwhile, this beautiful Mercedes is for sale. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little pan around the car when we when we get back to, to the house. Um, I hope you've guys probably shown you enough of this vehicle now. So we'll, we'll sign off here for a minute and, uh, and then we'll, you can have a look around when we get back to the house. See you in a bit. Still recording, right? Huh? 